This post-fight interview is brought to you by MMA Mental, MMA Worldwide and YourMMA.TV. It is sponsored by Almighty Fightwear. For more post-fight interviews from the biggest promotions, please subscribe to the MMA Mental YouTube channel. Also, like MMAMental.com, MMA Worldwide, Your MMA, and Almighty Fightwear on Facebook. And on Twitter, please follow at MMA Mental, at Your MMA, and at Almighty MMA. I'm now joined by Hans Stringer. Hans coming off a successful UFC debut at UFC Fight Night 38, beats, beating Francimar Barroso via split decision. Hans, thank you very much for joining me. Yes, thank you for having me. Uh, and congratulations on winning your UFC debut. Thanks, thanks. Uh, it feels great, man. The first win. Yeah, it was it was a, re- a really a really uh, exciting fight to watch as well. So, uh, you know, some good striking. So let's talk a little bit about the build. Then, of course, you were you were called up to the UFC. You were you were flying to Brazil to fight a Brazilian. Uh, what was it like to get the call up to the big show? Uh, I wasn't expecting it. That's uh, that's for sure. At the time, I was still, I was still with the World Series. But um, I was very happy, you know, like my manager, Glenn Robinson, called me and he said, man, I have you a new contract, you're going to fight in five weeks, you have to come down here to, uh, to Boca Raton, Florida, and, and three, four days later, I'm in the airplane preparing for my first big fight, so I was really pleased with the, with the news. Was there any problem getting out of the World Series of Fighting contract, or were they quite understandable, understandable about you moving over to the UFC? Uh, my manager did uh, some great work. <laughs> he sorted it, was, it out uh, for you. It, it wasn't really easy, but it worked out fine in the end, so I'm glad with it. Okay, brilliant. Now, how, what was it like facing a Brazilian in Brazil? <laughs> it's, uh, well, you know, it's, it's, it's like I said before, I, I, I fought in Poland, I fought in Russia, you know, I... I had before uh, I had experience with the, being the underdog in a, in a, in the country, so it wasn't new to me. But Brazilian fans are intense. That was new for me. So, uh, but in the end, it's a fight, you know. In the cage, it's one on one. It's it doesn't matter how many people are watching or shouting or whatever. It's still one on one. So in the end, it doesn't really matter. Now it was it was quite a close fight. In the first round, you dropped him uh, with a punch. How close were you to finishing the fight? Um, he recovered pretty fast. You know, I hoped when I jumped him in, I hoped he he, he was still very rocked. But um, you know, I hit him a couple of times, and after that, I I felt pretty much pretty soon he was recovered. So. It was a shame, but in the end, it is what it is, you know? Yeah. Uh, now, it would be great, of course, to have the TKO victory. That. Yeah. Now, in round two as well, he landed a big punch. I think it was an uppercut. Uh, did you feel rocked or, yeah. or were you okay from the punch? No, I was okay. You know, in the end, after the fight, I called to. Um, I spoke with some people and, and they say, man, you had. You had uh, 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 he gave you a great punch, you know, and but I didn't feel it like that in the fight. But after in the evening, I watched the or the next day, I watched the fight again. I saw it was a good punch, but in, in the fight, I wasn't rocked or anything. So that's a good thing. Um, the thing though was I saw it coming, and I think that's a, that's a big difference. The punches you don't see coming are like. The knockout punches, and if you see it coming, you, you can prepare yourself. Now, it was quite a close fight, of course. You won via split decision. With it being in Brazil, and with you facing a Brazilian fighter, and we've seen some dubious calls in the past with hometown fighters or home country fighters, how, how confident were you when it went to the judges? Oh, not, not at all. <laughs> not at all. You know, for sure I won the first round, and for sure he won the second round. So it was all up to the third round, and um, I knew I was dominating the round, but he took me down 30 seconds before, and he finished, like, not strong, but he make a takedown, last 30 seconds on top. It's like, you know, you finish the round, uh, the round strong. Um, 
So I was not confident at all. But but really, you know, I feel I, I still I felt I won the fight, but you never know. Like you said, it is in Brazil with the Brazilian fighter, so you never know. How pleased were you then when your name was announced as, as the winner via split decision? Very pleased. You know, it, it, it's it's um, I, I fought one time in Japan a long time ago, and 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 this last fight are my greatest victories. You know, at least the feeling. It's it, it's the first time in UFC. It's uh, in Brazil, um, so I was really happy. Now, one of the other things I know from speaking to other people in the past that have fought in the UFC and outside the UFC, especially when they first go to the UFC, is that whole will, the, the whole week build-up. What was the week build-up like with all the media attention and the fight at hotel? What was that like for you? Was that something new? Um, it was a little bit more media, um, but not, not so much new. You know, it, 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 I, I wasn't on the main card, so... I only had to do some photo shoots, um, 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 some videos, not too much. You know, it, 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 it was the same with World Series or with um, uh, well, when I fought in Poland. You know, you, you go down a week before or like five, four days before. And it, it wasn't really a difference with any other uh, big organization. Now, with it being a three-round fight as well, uh, when when after the fight, how did you feel? Have you got any knocks and or injuries? And when would you like to get in and compete again? I got a little tired, um, but after the fight, as soon as we were back in the uh, dressing rooms, I still had a, uh, I still had gas. You know, I still feel good. I have no, uh, I have no injuries. You know, of course, I'm 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 sore have some black spots, but nothing really different than a week of hard training. Now, there's a couple of cards we know coming up uh, this year. There's a, there's three rumoured so far for Europe. We've got Germany, we've got Dublin, and we've got Sweden. Would you like to be on one of those cards? And if so, which one? Um, definitely. I, I, I really would like to fight in uh, Europe one time. Um... Which card doesn't really matter, um, but the thing is, I like to fight often, you know. I like to fight at least three, four times a year. Um, the case is I don't have injuries, I'm still feeling good. So if it is possible, I would like to fight in Germany in the end of May. Just, just you know, so, so all my family, friends can watch the fight. Um, I'm in a good flow right now, so why not continue? Have you got anyone in mind that you'd like to fight? No, not really. Doesn't really yeah, I, I know every fighter safe says this, but you know, it's, it's, it's my job to prepare myself the best I can and to give it all in the cage. And that's what I did last time and that's what I will do next time. Doesn't matter who the opponent is. Okay, well, I really appreciate you giving me your time. So thank you very much, and congrats, as, as I've already already said, congratulations on winning your UFC debut. Thank you. Uh, and before we let it go, just want to give you, uh, just want to give you a chance to do some shout outs before we let it go. So if you'd like to let the listeners know about your Facebook and your Twitter, and also if you want to shout out any friends, family, sponsors, uh, anybody at all you want to shout out. Okay. Um, yeah, my Facebook is really simple, Hans Stringer. Um, uh, my Twitter is the same, Hans Stringer. It's not a really common name, so everybody can find it. Um, big shout out to my uh, management, Authentic Sports Manager Management, for for helping me and uh, giving me this opportunity. Of course, to the Black Sillians for uh, for preparing me for this fight and my last couple of fights, and of course the gyms where I started, and I'm I'm still training with them in Holland with. Uh, Jiu-Jitsu Factory and Super Pro Sports Center, and of course the UFC for giving me the the option to fight for them. Well, I can't I can't wait to see you step in and compete again, hopefully in in Berlin. <laughs>